What's up guys and gals? I'm back again with uh, some hauls and some updates. Um, just want to sit down and talk with you guys for a while. You know, it's been a while. I've been busy with stuff. You guys have seen, um, you know, I've been putting out these sale trade vids. And you know, a couple of random videos here and there. But it's been a while since I sat down or, or showed you some hauls. I haven't gotten much. Um, well, yeah, I've gotten a little stuff here and there. It's been spread out, and you know what I'm about to show you guys. You know, it's gonna look like a lot, but this was stuff that that's been spread out. You know, wasn't anything real recent. You know, uh, toy runs. You know, ain't really doing those for a while. Um, just going out here and there, mostly when I'm on errands, and of course I'm gonna check the toys, right? So anyway, uh, before I get into any other stuff, uh, updates and all that, I'm gonna get right into the hauls. Um, the first stuff isn't stuff I bought actually. I'll show you a couple packages I got. I actually got these um, nearly two weeks ago. Uh, first one is from Daddy Ivo. If you haven't checked his channel yet, I'm gonna put a link. Uh, let's see, right about right there is Daddy Ivo. Go check out his um, his channel, please. Um, so I got a package from him. Uh, yeah, I got this, uh, both of these actually nearly two weeks ago, but I haven't opened them yet. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna get around to that, uh, very shortly after, maybe after this vid. And this one is from a good friend from back home in the Philippines, Mark, aka Geekmatic. I'll put his link, uh, right about right there. So go check that out. Check out his channel if you haven't already. Um, one more package. I just got in the mail, just got this one today. Um, this one is from, you, you know him very well, if, if, if you're familiar with my channel, even if you haven't checked out his channel, you already know him, Mr. Von Dudenstein, because, you know, really good friend, and you've seen, you've seen my thank you videos to him many a time. This, uh, that one actually is, is for a trade, we worked out a trade, uh, very good deal, um, so you guys will be seeing a video unboxing of that, um, pretty shortly, so... Let me show you guys some stuff that I have bought. Um, a couple of Iron Man figures. Um, you guys already seen these because these have been up for for uh, sale and trade. This one's actually taken. It's going to get sent out real soon. Um, then there's also this one. Really happy about that one. The Weapon Assault Drone. Uh, and this one also. Really... Uh, I've been saying, um, you know, in this wave, uh, really, she's really the only one that I have to have, like, that I really wanted. The, the rest, uh, Iron Spider-Man, Iron Patriot, Marvel's Wrecker, Winter Soldier, um, I'll get them eventually, but they're not, like, for me, they're not must-haves right now. I just really want a Mary Jane, huge fan of, you know, Spider-Man, and, you know, Mary Jane's essential. Love an assault drone, that's... Check that out. Look how badass that is. That thing's freaking awesome. You know, you're going to see when I when I do review that. Um, and then, of course, you guys have already seen this in my sell trade video also. Uh, that's really cool. Come on. Tony Stark head Iron Man. That's, that's freaking awesome. I'm about to, you know, go go get a giant donut for him to, to sit under. Um, here we go. Got a a couple WWE items. Really happy about these. Um, I scored this one. I was just, uh, it wasn't at any of the major stores. It wasn't at Walmart, Target, or Toys R Us. Um, it was in a smaller uh, mall store we have called Toy Town. Uh, they used to be a small chain. There was like uh, three or four locations in San Diego. They were kind of like a competitor to KB. Uh, as a mall store, but even when KB went away, they still exist. And there's, they may, they had maybe like three or four, four stores in the San Diego County. Now they only, they've only got the one, and that's in uh, San Isidro by the by the border. Um, so I spotted this. I was like, oh damn, because I've never seen one of the uh, the championship belt figures. So it's really happy that about that. And I'm a I'm a big fan of Molina. She's one of my um, current uh, favorite divas. But, my all-time favorite current diva, Kelly Kelly. I was real happy to check that out. That's, I mean, you know, I know some people aren't crazy about the WWE divas, but, you know, I'm all about the divas. And Kelly Kelly, um, that's just too awesome. She's 
Oh, that's cool. Really happy that I found that. And I haven't seen them anywhere else yet. Uh, I spotted this was at Walmart. Of course, I grabbed it right away. Um, haven't seen another one since. Uh, what else? Um, oh, here we go. Check this out. This was this was a pretty crazy score right here. Um, me and Clownfire were were out on some errands and you know hitting up hitting up some stores, and then we were at this uh, Walmart and uh, found found some stuff in the clearance section. Uh, I don't know if you've seen his video. He got the uh, Clownfire. He got the uh, Crimson Hydra for ten bucks, uh, and I saw this and. Um, uh, Clownfire had said it was four bucks. I was like, okay, cool. You know, I I haven't gotten this one yet. It was one of those ones that even when they they dropped down to five bucks, this was always on my wants list because I prefer, as far as the movie figures, I prefer this Storm Shadow over the one with the mask. Um, but I was real picky because lots of the paint jobs on the face uh, just weren't great. So I wanted to find and I, so I never got it. And then eventually, you know, they were either not five dollars anymore or you just couldn't find them anymore. Um, at stores like uh, Toys R Us and, and Target and so I was like okay I might as well grab it and then I scanned the price or, or did, I, did I scan the price or I just took it to the register no I think it was just I just I was gonna buy it for four bucks and I took it to the register it rung up as one dollar one dollar if you don't believe me here's, here's the receipt I mean you're probably not gonna see this on camera but I mean you know that is the the visual proof right there that it, it was only one dollar. That's that's cool. I mean, you know, hey, it's the older GI Joe Rise of Cobra, so it's not like the hugest, um, you know, score, but still a dollar. Real happy. And then, so like I said, Clownfire had scored the uh, the Crimson. I believe it's called the Crimson Hydra, which is the repaint of that one uh, GI Joe Stealth Jet. I have the original. So he got that. It was ten bucks, and he's, as you can see. There's this right here, right? The Cobra Gunship. I didn't see this until we were on our way out. After I paid and there was this basket uh, past the registers on the way out that had like stuff that was, I guess, going to be going back to the shelves or something. And I saw this and I was like, huh. Ten bucks. As you can see, it's missing the figure. But, you know, originally these were 25 bucks. And, you know, the Gunship, that's, that's pretty damn badass. You know, and I was thinking, well... For 10 bucks, you know, it's still, for me, I'd say that's still worth it, you know, for the gunship alone. Even, I wasn't going to use the Firefly figure anyway, I mean, I probably would have put it up for, for a trade or, you know, whatever. But then I thought, I thought to ask, uh, when I got to the register, because I remember, uh, some of you guys have mentioned, I don't know anyone off the top of my head, but I've, I've seen some people mention in their videos how, um, you know they they found stuff and you know maybe it's defective or missing something and so you know you've asked for like a discount at the register or something like that and uh, I thought of trying it out I've never done it but you know this seemed like a really reasonable time to do that right missing missing figure uh, even though it's on it's on clearance and stuff um, and you know sometimes stuff like that is like sold as is but then it was like Clownfire got the Crimson Hydra that was 10 bucks you know with the figure so I'm like you know I I'd give it a shot so I gave it a shot and she's like um yeah sure but you know the thing is their policy is it's only 10% off and I was like thinking alright well you know why well, didn't say it but I was I was gonna take it but then she was like since you're so sweet you can ask Clownfire I, I know um, uh, I line on this one. Um, she was like, "Some like since you're so sweet, I'll give it to you for five bucks." So <laughs> you know, um, where is that? And if, if you don't believe me on that one again, uh, there's a receipt. I don't know if you can see that, but it does say uh, five bucks. And um, so five dollars for a, a brand new Cobra gunship. You know, yeah, it's missing the figure, but who cares? Five bucks. Um, so there you go. Get that away. Um, Olivia Munn fans, go get the uh, the latest issue of GQ magazine on page two hundred. There you go. You'll get that. Uh, what else? I don't know if you guys have seen these. They're from uh, they're from Toys R Us. They're these special uh, they're collector cards. 
Um, as you can see, they're, they're Halo Reach collector cars. There's Emil right there. And then there's Cat. And then you got Jorge. Uh, they're also, what they are is each one is, um, is a different coupon. This one was $10 off uh, any Xbox 360 game, even, even uh, Clarence games. Uh, $15 off any Xbox 360 wireless controller. And Cats was $15 off uh, Crackdown 2 or Alan Wake. Um, yeah, they are coupons, but they're, they all, they're also just collector cards on their own, and they're numbered. Uh, Cat is 3 of 5. Emil is one of five, and Jorge is four of five. I missed out on number two, and I think uh, five is yet to come. So if you're a Halo Reach fan, uh, you might not have known about these. Um, go to your Toys R Us. They're totally free. Uh, you probably ask for, for several of them if you want. Um, and they might even have the older ones. So once again, there's uh, Emil, Cat, and Jorge. Halo Reach cards. Um, what else? Uh, this isn't really a haul, um, but uh, recently saw a few movies over the past couple weeks. Um, the Last Exorcism and Machete or Machete. Um, yeah. Uh, the Last Exorcism, All right, so I'm going to kind of run into a, just a, a mini review of each movie. Um, Last Exorcism, awesome, awesome movie. I'm a, I'm a huge horror fan. Um, that movie did not disappoint. In fact, it uh, actually both of these movies, both Machete and The Last Exorcism, exceeded my expectations. I went to them. I went into both of them pretty excited and and with pretty high hopes. Uh, they both completely exceeded my expectations. Um, Last Exorcism, oh man, that thing was full of full of twists. It was like uh, it was one of these ones. It was it was I, I wouldn't I can't say if you can even call it a horror. It was scary, um, but it was um, it was a very like like the critics have been saying. It's like a smart thriller. It very it really was. You wouldn't expect it going into it to, to think it was going to be something uh, that smart and full of, full of some pretty cool twists. Uh, Machete, I'm a huge Robert Rodriguez fan. Anything Robert Rodriguez, love his, his style of filmmaking. Um, action doesn't disappoint. Blood, ultra violence, sex, tits and ass. It's all there. Lindsay Lohan naked. Jessica Alba shower scene. <laughs> oh man. And just Danny Trejo just fucking shit up all over the place, man. Oh. I, I highly recommend that movie if you're if you're a fan of action. I personally I liked it better than all the all the summer action movies this year. Um, going down all the way as early as, as May or so. That's, yeah, so Anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for, for my hauls. Um, updates. I don't really know what I was going to update you guys on uh, right now. Um, sale trade vids, please check them out. You know, you, you've probably seen them by now. You know, I'm trying to raise that, that ring or raise that money to get an engagement ring. Um, contest. I, I still I have contests coming up. And I did mention a while back, you know, when I hit 1,500 subscribers, I'm going I'm to throw up uh, some contests and giveaways. So, um, definitely expect some soon. So, sorry I've been delaying on those. And um, what else? Uh, that's about it. You know what? I'm going to take you guys handheld for a second and show you a couple other things. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, I'm actually running out of time, so I got to do this quick. I just want to show you guys an update on my LEGO Minifigure Series 2. I do have the, the whole set of 16, including six Spartans. Oh, and as you can see right here, I got a few packages waiting to go out. Some of these are from the sale trades, and some of them are just cuz kind of stuff. Uh, but this is all out to YouTubers, and there's, there's one right there waiting to get sent also. All right, guys and girls, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog, recent hauls and updates video. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.